Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you as part of a request how to downgrade iOS 8 down to 7.1.2, which at the moment of me making this video is the current firmware. It's actually a really simple process, and I could see people wanting to do this. If you don't enjoy iOS 8, it's too buggy for you, whatever, it's super easy to do. So in settings, I'm just going to show you I am currently running the latest iOS 8.0 firmware on my device, as you can see right there. And it's actually a really simple process. So we just need to download the firmware, connect it to iTunes, and then just downgrade. Anyways, let's go ahead and head over to my computer. All right, so down below in the description, I'm going to provide you a link, which will take you to my site. And here, just scroll down and find your device over here. Now, I forgot to mention this does work on any device. So all iPhones, all iPad models, and the iPod Touch fifth generation. So find your 7.1. 1.2 firmware here. Just click it, it'll automatically download and then drag it to your desktop. So it should look just like a file like this. And of course, you do need iTunes installed. Anyways, head over to iTunes and with your device plugged in, make sure it is plugged in. And as you can see, I am running iOS 8.0 at the moment. If you're on a Mac computer, you're going to want to hold down Option. If you're on Windows, hold down Shift. And while holding it down, left click on the check for update icon. In here, you'll find your firmware file wherever you put it. Just locate that, select it, and select open. So it'll ask you to verify that you do want to do this. Go ahead and select update, and the whole process begins. Now, it takes about five to 10 minutes, not long. So don't worry about everything, it should be normal. So you'll see the little icon, and then you'll see the loading bar to show you guys that it is working. While this is in the final stages, I just wanted to warn you guys that this will not back up any of your data. And if you are in iOS 8 and you're transferring down to iOS 7, it's an incompatible firmware, so you cannot restore from a backup on iOS 8 in iOS 7. So keeping that in mind, you wanna make sure you back everything up before you actually downgrade. And by that, I mean do it manually. So you wanna you know, go into iPhoto, take all your photos off or whatever file software you use, just remove all of your photos, back up your contacts. So pretty much just back up everything before attempting this downgrade. Otherwise, it will not manually save everything. Keep that in mind. And that's the most important part because people ask me, hey, where'd all my data go? Why can't I restore it? So you wanna make sure to back it up before continuing with this downgrade. Anyways, with that being said, you're now done. This is my iPhone 5 that was just in iOS 8. And let me just show you guys, it is currently running iOS 7.1.2. Boom, right there, done. So it was as easy as that. Now guys, this method will not work forever. So after the beta software is finished, this little hole will be closed. So you will no longer be able to downgrade iOS 8 to iOS 7 after the beta softwares are done. But for those people that could get it in, you are now running 7.1.2 from iOS 8. Enjoy the new firmware, guys. Peace.